Just another wonderful day in Animal Crossing New Horizons. That is way too many eggs out of one rock. Three eggs, one rock, that is like the opposite of anything that I need. But I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Uh, we're going to be continuing to try and get our five-star island rating today. We're going to finish our outdoor museum area slash park. We've got a lot of stuff that we still need to do to it, but we did get quite a bit done in the stream, or, well, two streams earlier, and we're really going to make this pretty. This might finally tip us over the edge to a five-star island, but I do hope you all enjoy today's episode. We're going to be hunting down some rare islands today, maybe even messing around with testing some other money methods, and I do hope you guys like this maybe longer format style Animal Crossing video that we haven't really done on the channel. We're going to be hunting down more fossils today because I want to get some more full fossils to put in the garden areas as well as like little viewing areas too. So we got quite a bit of stuff going on. I also want to craft some more things. So I need to farm up like a ton of stone. I need some archways. We need some clay for some more raccoon figurines because they're amazing. We need some bird baths. And hopefully we'll get some new recipes today as well uh, to be able to make this area even more pretty. But if you do find yourselves enjoying the video, make sure to slap that like button, show it some love. Is Boomer still here? Boomer is still here. We're trying to get him as a new island resident. And things are just going really, really well uh, with our island so far. And um, let's see. How many Nook Miles do we have? Ooh, we've got more Nook Miles. That is good. So we got 20,000 Nook Miles. We got enough for 10 tickets. Uh, hopefully, we won't have to spend all 10 tickets. There's a couple things that I'm really looking for from Rare Islands. We need to get some Rare Island Roses. Uh, so we're looking for specifically Rare Island Orange Roses to try and breed uh, Blue Roses. There's a couple different ways you can do this. Uh, you can try and breed Special Red Roses together, which is here, to get Blue Roses. And you get those by breeding an Orange and a White together. Um, but I haven't been getting Blue Roses from this. Supposedly it works. Um, I just haven't had good luck with it, I suppose. So I want to try and, you know, better my chances by getting those Rare Roses. And I feel really dumb because I've gotten those islands like five times and I never picked any of the of the special orange roses from there. And now that I want them, I can't get the island to come back. Um, but I'm also going to experiment with a new tarantula method to be able to make a ton of money. Uh, so hopefully this is enjoyable for everybody. But I'm going to get some stuff farmed up and then we're going to head to some rare islands and see what we can find. You know, I might be getting absolutely horrible horrible islands right now but i did get two golden nuggets out of that so i mean there is a bright side to this horribleness i suppose all snap we got butt fruit baby butt fruit ah oh, just butt fruit although what is that butterfly right there i don't think i don't think i've ever caught that butterfly you're gonna be a common butterfly aren't you what, what you is a common blue... Oh, it's a common blue bottle. Okay, I've definitely caught one of these. It's just been a hot minute. Uh, we got Butt Fruit Islands, so that's kind of cool. I mean, we can make a little bit of money from here. But aside from that, this is not going to be a particularly great island. I still need those hybrid roses. So I decided to take a little bit of a break from hunting down rare islands because I was just having such bad luck with it. Uh, it seems like anytime I actually want to find something specific, the struggle is for realsies. But I'm going to need to plant like a bajillion flowers back there. Maybe even a tree. Um, but I decided to try and turn this T-Rex around uh, to see if it would look just a little bit better. And I think it will. Uh, not Sorry, not turn it around, but like actually put it on the opposite sides. So that way the faces are next to the actual museum itself. This should be the last one that I picked up. Place that bad boy there like so. And then we can spin it around. And I think it's going to look just a little bit better. So the dinosaurs definitely look better facing the museum. I like the way it looks a lot. We've also got um, an Archaeopteryx over here. And then another little dude right here. And I think we can fit some like benches and some flowers and maybe like a water fountain in here to make it look nice. But we're getting really close to being done with this particular area. And I'm quite happy with the way it's turning out. I just got to like redirect this entire river now to kind of flow through here all nice. And um, kind of just keep decorating everything. We got to get some lights up in here. I think it's going to look really nice. Oh my god. God, what magnificent creature is this? It's Beardo! 
What is this? Why are you even here, Beardo? I love you! Just here from Pinebrook. Oh my god. I'm pretty psyched about Walfleton now that I've met you. What? When did you move in, Beardo? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's great. I had no idea he was even a resident. That's amazing. So we decided to visit one of our members' islands, Mac, um, who has so graciously offered to give us a whole bunch of money to help fund the events that we've been doing on the channel. Um, so I came over to his island, Hogwarts, here, and he's got a rather interesting just, like, alleyway coming from the airport that's just littered with money. Money literally everywhere. I am genuinely curious to see what he's got going on at his island, though. Look, we got flowers everywhere. I'm just, I'm just really curious. Do a tiny little uh, island tour. Ooh, he's got the double waterfall action going on here, which looks really nice. Huh. I want to actually check out this whole island when we get a chance here. Um, but regardless, we're here picking up some money so we can do some more events. For those of you that don't know, we got lots and lots of stuff going on. We've done scavenger hunts in the past. We have that casino that we've been running. Um, a whole bunch of other things. Uh, I let like a whole bunch of viewers decorate my house. We got a lot of really fun content coming soon. Beardo is staring down whatever this is so much. We need to buy it for Beardo. Beardo, what you got here, buddy? Look, what's it? it's a it's a Tommy bed. I've never even seen one of those. Beardo, I got you, bro. You're like my favorite dude right now. So I'm starting to think Beardo hates me because I went to go get money for his bed and the dude just like disappeared. Just absolutely gone. Um, so I got to find him now, but there is good news today. There was a new update for Animal Crossing today, bringing us to like 1.14a. And um, it's reduced the amount of eggs that spawn because of Bunny Day. So for those of you that were losing your minds because of Bunny Day, there's hope on the horizon, ladies and gentlemen. There are going to be less eggs spawned from sources, but if you did want more eggs and haven't gotten to do the Bunny Day event, egg rates will be increased on the on, on Easter, so the, on the 12th. So at least we've got a little bit of reprieve from the eggs for a little while. I'm still trying to find Beardo. Flick is here, so i got to sell some of the um, spiders and stuff that I've been stocking up. But Beardo's gone. Maybe he's at his house. You know, Beardo would move into one of the cult houses. I'm hoping he's in here. Oh, yes, we get to see his house. What is this? I like the music he's got going on in here. This is a very fancy house. Beardo, I got you a present, buddy. You wanted a bed. How do I give Beardo a present? So I wasn't really happy with the pathing that I put both in the museum area and like throughout the town. And then I decided to try and get into some of these custom pathing things. And I gotta say, I think it looks substantially better. It doesn't have like the same depth and shadow as like, um, you know, the, the vanilla stuff, but it definitely does spice up the island enough just to make it just a little bit more interesting. So I'm working on trying to find one really good for the, um, like it just looks so much better in my opinion. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below and I'll leave a link to any of the uh, designs that I use in the description. So feel free to check that out. I want to try and find a good one for the ground here that we can plant the flowers in. Um, I kind of want to see how this is going to look inside of the museum area as well, but I think maybe we could find something just a little bit better too. So I really want to make this area as pretty as possible. I really wish I had more of these paper lanterns to place through here um, so that I can kind of mix them in along with all of the flowers. Unfortunately, I don't have many of them, so I'm going to put another one here. Well, I got to go back here first. Um, and then I'll have to wait to kind of get more of them to place them on the other side. But I kind of want to make it match, but I only got three right now, and I got to wait for them to appear back in the store for those limited items, and then I can get more. I'd need, like, ten more, I think. And then also still trying to get, like, the little fossils. Um, but I was looking for a long time for really nice pathing that would go well in, like, large open areas like this up here. And I couldn't... I found, a, I found one specifically, one set that looked really, really nice 
but it um the qr code wouldn't work it wouldn't scan because it was too blurry um so now i'm kind of at a loss i think i'm gonna keep it like this van basically the vanilla stuff for now until i can find a better path but if anybody has any nice paths out there if i haven't found one by the end of this video uh, and you have one you think would look really nice, definitely let me know. Hit me up on Discord or Twitter, and uh, I might even just try and make some of my own. <laughs> the game just did me so dirty. I would get Bamboo Island the day after searching for islands all day. Um, for those of you that don't know, Bamboo Island is the best island to get tarantulas on. It's like you can get tarantulas so fast on this particular island, and uh, I was hoping to get it sooner, but uh, sometimes things just don't go your way, so... <laughs> I just still really want that. I don't have anything on here that I want. I guess I'm gonna look for some uh, recipes, maybe? But I still just want the orange hybrid flower island. It's gonna happen one of these days. I mean, I've already spent almost 20,000 Nook Miles. So I think we're about done with this particular area. I'm really, really happy with the way everything came out. We've got some bird baths and stuff decorating on the outside of the flowers. We added some more benches down here. We added raccoons. We've also got the lanterns up top there with the flowers, which looks really nice. There's a couple more small, um, I can't even remember, small fossils that I need to get. We put the fountain in the middle here, which I think does actually look really, really nice. Uh, having the flowers up on the waterfall definitely uh, put it up a notch just to kind of make it look a little bit better. But then we change things up up here. We've got these custom paths, which I think look really nice. I wanted to do the entire area in this custom path, but I wasn't 100% sure if I wanted to. One, because it takes so long because there's so many pieces. Uh, and I'll leave the link in the description to this, but... Um, so we've got these rose ones that I was using before, and then we've got the peach bricks here, which look really, really nice, I think. But it, there's so many different pieces, it takes so long to add all of them. Uh, but let's go ahead and show off everything that we got going on up here. I've left this open because this is going to be a path into a different area. I haven't quite decided what we're going to do over here. Maybe like a kid's park or something. I'm not 100% sure. Or like a zen garden, perhaps. Uh, but this area is looking really, really, really nice. We got a, steg uh, a stego over here. We've got an Ankylosaurus there. And then uh, our T-Rex we turned around, which looks really nice. We put some cherry trees behind it. We've got flowers. We've got all of this stuff. We've got these little marketplace banners, which look really nice. Uh, there's the Spinosaurus, which is awesome. And then um, let's see here. I think, okay, we, we, we already showed placing that down. And then I've got this open over here. So that way we can maybe make a pathway that goes to the campsite, which is way over there. Um, so we got a lot of work to kind of add things through here. I do want to make some kind of like Zen garden stuff to kind of spice it up a little bit. But if you guys think I really should add this peach uh, brick uh, down through the rest of it, I definitely will. But on the flip side, I kind of like having it change through different, like each little area. Although I'm not a big fan of the cobblestone here, so I probably will uh, switch this out. Maybe? I don't know. I'm curious to know what you all think. But uh, slowly working on getting all the villagers that we want in the area. Uh, we might even be five stars now. You know what? We should probably go check. I definitely wouldn't be surprised if we were still four stars due to the fact that there's still a lot of weeds around that I haven't picked up. But we've done a ton of decorating, so let's see... Ah, oh, still four stars. Well, today was definitely kind of rough. We didn't find any rare islands, and we didn't get the five-star rating, but I'm 90%... Well, I know exactly why we don't have one. They said there was too many things lying around, and I did drop a lot of items, and there's weeds and stuff that we got to go pick up. So once that happens, we're going to have a five-star island. It's, we're, we're pretty much there already. I think I'm going to maybe replace this with the peach bricks and have that going through here. There's also a peach brick with ivy that I can add, but it's just... There's, there's a lot of pieces to it, and it's a little bit of a nightmare sometimes to get it all added but i do hope you all enjoyed today's episode thank you so much for watching thank you for support on the animal crossing series i'll see you all in the next one